Hello. Okay. I asked on Twitter if people could suggest something for me to draw because I'm not an artist and I don't know how to use this thing, <laughs> which is like whack on. I don't know. It's Bill's thing. And Jason Dennis said uh, gnomes doing dot 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 things. Um, Bradley Sands says a wild and crazy banana goes bananas. So I've got two things open. Let's see how this goes. Bill's got a couple of people round, but they are distancing, so don't don't worry. They're watching the Shivering Truth, which okay. I'm going to do gnomes first. So start with a big beard. Yes, lovely beard. They're watching The Shivering Truth, which uh, I think is a really good suggestion. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Bill's mum's going to like it, but I highly recommend it. The Shivering Truth, you should... Oh dear. Okay, he's got quite a squashed face, but you know, where is his mouth going to go? That's like, that's his face, and his beard is like so growth down here. Okay, now that's fine. Put his mouth down here. Oh, I know what I could do. You can rub out, or rub out that. That will at least make it less defined. <laughs> what can they be doing that's sinister? Because uh, the implication with things was sinister. So maybe, maybe they could be, oh, about to do a, a gnome sacrifice for the gods. Okay, let's 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 do that. So there's the rest of the body. Okay. Uh, hooray. Okay, and we'll put a gnome being sacrificed here. Oh, he's all dead. So yeah, I've been obsessed with community lately. If anyone follows me on Twitter, they can watch the descent of my <laughs> of my like obsession with it. <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, that's gone. Phew. And I just watched the episode where Abid does. Um, like a Nicolas Cage freak out and it's interesting because I think the thing with Nicolas Cage is or there could be two gnomes maybe kissing because they're excited because it's like a sacrificial satanic thing and everyone's going to be having or no actually maybe rather than doing anything too exciting I've got just like <laughs> some terrible affliction gnome affliction instead of doing anything too exciting maybe they should just be having a nice lemonade and celebrating it okay yeah let's do that yeah so the thing with Nicolas Cage is I think that he's actually really bad he's really bad at acting but he Lovely dots there. Lemonade. Yeah. Um, so he's he's terrible, and but he puts everything into it. He puts everything into being terrible. Like there's real effort there, and it creates this mind melting mix of uh, bad acting. Yet. Um, uh, full effort that is trippy and confusing knife okay yeah yeah we're getting somewhere now okay let's open this guy up <laughs> okay um should there be like there should be like some satanic thing somewhere shouldn't there okay yeah uh 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 uh, is that a satanic thing? 
it looks like a um, place has gone to try and find out what's going on. Actually, let's give it some eyes. Could be a place, couldn't it? Hello, what's happening? Can I come? Right, okay. I'm having a bit of enough of these gnomes. Maybe one of them could be asking this lemonade one a question. Like, hi, did you enjoy your holiday? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so. So that's either a satanic uh, symbol or a confused place. So, and I know what I want it to be. Okay, um, let's switch over to the banana for Bradley. Um, yeah, because if you look at like um, Color Out of Space, which was that film, the Lovecraft film recently, um, by the guy who tried to do The Island of Dr. Moreau, but everything went wrong you sh you have to watch um oh god i can't remember the doc what the documentary is called but it goes into the production of the film why everything went wrong um and nicholas cage at one point started doing this weird like trump voice and it wasn't that impression he does an impression of somebody but i don't mean that bit i mean later when everything starts going wrong he starts actually sounding like trump and there's no reason for it. I don't know why his voice goes like that. It's bizarre. Okay, so a banana, a crazy banana doing wild things. That's kind of like the moon, isn't it? So rather than, um, I think rather than doing anything too crazy, like the sacrificial stuff, let's just, Oh, that's more banana-y. That's good. I like that. Let's have it... Um, I don't know. Maybe it could be a superhero and it... In order to rescue people, it has to cry onto the bad guys. That's it. Okay. It has to cry onto the bad guys. So there's someone down here and they are like hitting someone they go punch 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 uh, punch 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 someone down here going oh no you hurt me <laughs> but the magic banana is going to cry on it and we'll go uh, what's that and now he's distracted and he's going to, and there'll be another bloke perhaps here going he's running he knows what the, he knows what's going to happen he knows that the banana is all powerful so he's running to get away it's not worth it Jeff leave it yeah because you can't fight against that banana you just can't okay i think that's about it i'm gonna go back to watching community um have a very nice day um goodbye